Hello guys and welcome to a new series of videos I'm doing. Um, no promises on how long this is going to go. I have about two hours ago received the Hearthstone beta key. Um, so I've started playing it and um, it just brought me back to the old days of playing Magic the Gathering with um, my friends. So it's obviously substantially more simplistic as a game than Magic the Gathering, um, but that also means it's more of casual friendly um, and more of a do it while you're doing other things kind of game. So um, the way this is going to work out, um, at least how I've got it planned, is um, not really episodes in, um, in terms of 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. Um, I'm just going to do one battle and then cut and then do another battle. Um, however long I feel like doing it, basically. Um, firstly, I'm going to start with a few practice rounds, um, but I need to go back for that. Um, I have unlocked all the classes now, but um, most of them I have not yet unlocked all the basic cards for, basically. Um, basic, basically, um, never mind. But yeah, as I said, for um, for the mage, I've unlocked all of them now, but none of the others are done. So I'll do some practice runs first, and um, eventually I'm obviously going to start playing just casual against others. I will not be doing ranked, and I'm probably not going to be doing arena games. I'm just going to um, just do the random games against enemies, roughly my strength, and then record one and see how it goes. Um, I've only played about six matches against other players so far, I think. Um, now these I've all won, but I'm assuming that's just because the game assumes I'm really bad, because I've only just started, so it's gonna match me up against others who've only just started, and um, I have some experience with that kind of game from Magic the Gathering, so I'm assuming against someone completely unfamiliar with that sort of game, I am at, a dis uh, at an advantage slightly. So um, anyway, what we're gonna start doing is now um, just working on a deck firstly um, and I think the shaman was kind of interesting um, the hunter is kind of interesting the mage everyone seems to be playing mages in their um, in their video so I'm just going for a hunter um, okay um, we might actually get into the crafting bit Let's just see where that is, actually. Uh, is that... Crafting mode? Um, so crafting mode, basically... I can disenchant cards and turn them into arcane dust, I believe. And then I can use that to make new cards, somehow. Um, so let's just go through that and check it out. Um, I can only disenchant advanced cards as far as I can tell, not like the really basic ones. But um, I don't really think I've got any... Um, any really bad ones that I want to disenchant at this point. I'm just going through them. Um, no. I've opened some packs already, um, but I don't think there's anything I really want to sacrifice yet. Lepo Gnome seems interesting. Uh, this one, for example. Let's just... Um, Disenchant that one for fun. Um, it had a an advantage if I have a weapon equipped, but um, okay. And apparently, disenchanting my first card gave me a hundred arcane dust. That's interesting. Um, and so supposedly. 
I now have a hundred arcane dust to actually summon, to actually create stuff with. Um, I really have no idea how interesting this is to watch, but I just want to share the experience. Um, um, I'm mostly looking at the the ones that are blue at the moment. Um, to see how much it costs. Well, to see if there's anything I really want, basically. Let's just check really expensive cards. Okay. Turns out the really expensive ones are really expensive. Um, oh, this is interesting. As a card. Uh, obviously, I can't afford to build this thing. Because it would cost... 400. Uh, that one's interesting too. Anyway, um, I, let's just go for a hunter card. This one's too expensive. This one's too expensive. Maybe something with a medium kind of cost. Charge or health and taunt. Oh. Um. Just for fun, let's create a deadly shot. <laughs> I don't know if that was a smart choice, I just did it anyway. And now, since we've done that, and uh, you've seen how it works, um, we can now go on and actually do some some stuff. So, new deck, which is going to be a hunter. Um, I will probably, the first few games, I'll talk a little bit about how the game works. And I've only got a basic understanding of it so far, so um, I think I definitely want to take tracking, and definitely want to take the timber wolf. Um, the way I see it, for a hunter, you pretty much have to use beasts. So um, why don't we search for beasts first? And take a few of those. I prefer the raptor to the crocolisk somehow, so there we are. Um, definitely need some taunters, and um, out of these two, I think the grizzly is stronger. This one's cool. And this is my... it's kind of a rare card, I think, so I'm definitely keeping it. And the core hound is just a big threat. And now half my cards are beasts, which seems um, seems ample. No. I have enough cheap cards as well. I've got six um, one mana beasts, which is um, which is good. You need some cheap cards, but you shouldn't overdo it as well. Um, I'm bringing this guy just for fun. These pirate things, um, these the pirate cards seem to benefit from having weapons, which I'm not. I don't have weapons as a hunter, I believe, so um, seems a little pointless. I'll bring the knife juggler just for fun. I think I'll do a few more. Bees, not not bees, just creatures in general, and then um, might as well take that one, and then I need something a little more expensive like that. Uh, as 
far as I can tell, I don't have any, like, spell cards yet. <laughs> well, not that many, anyway. Um... Okay. Well, let's just check out what else there is. Um, I did take the tracking and the other stuff. Not so certain about the arcane shot thing just yet. Okay, um, like, I'm definitely taking that one, I just crafted it. Um, yeah, there's, like, cards which are not creatures, basically, like spells and stuff, which are um, kind of useful. So, you probably want some of those. The multi-shot, I found that to be really powerful. And I'll take the Houndmaster as well. Um, anything else? I've got that one already. Uh, I'll just take the Berserker then. It basically grows stronger as it takes damage, which seems useful. Uh, as it stands, I have way too many creatures in this deck, so I might as well bring something which benefits from having lots of creatures. And then um, I'll pack the arcane shots and that'll be it. And as I said, practice matches first, but um, I think that was probably enough rambling for a single episode, so... um. We'll get to the fighting next time.